Hey boys and girls of Evans Park and Franklin Avenue, welcome back to another fun activity with Mr. Price. And today we're gonna do a little bit of tie-dyeing because I'd like to make Fiona a new duvet comforter for her bed. So um, I found these bed sheets that I had and they're flat sheets, which means they're the kind that just look like the big square. So I decided I'm gonna, I need two of them because I need one for the front and I need one for the back. And they're white. In Fiona's room, if you go to my YouTube video that has me painting the unicorn, you can see is all pinks and purples. So these have to be um, changed. So what I did was I went and I got fabric dye. And this is a great company, RIT, and they make uh, dyes that can go onto fabric. And you can wash it out and it's permanent. So I have this cool purple color. And for this, I also need, let me pan you down so you can see here. I have a pair of gloves, which I had laying around. I need some scissors. I have some pipe cleaner. I'm gonna use the pipe cleaner instead of using rubber band. That's a little trick I learned over the years of tie dyeing. Is it's easier to twist the pipe cleaner and then just take it off rather than trying to get the rubber band all the way down on such a big piece of fabric. And then finally, I needed a bottle with a squirter, and I did not have one, so we had a little bit of Febreze left. So I just um, used up what was left, and then I washed out the bottle. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's put on the gloves, because the fabric dye can definitely stain your hands, and it's much more powerful than food coloring so here. And I already got this started for us and I opened it up. You can see I put a little hole there. And I'm gonna pour the fabric dye into the bottle. You can see it, how dark it is, right? And I want this to be really concentrated. Concentrated means when there's a lot of the main ingredient inside the solution. I'm also gonna put water in here uh, to make it so I can spray it. So I'm gonna go to the sink and put some water into the bottle and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the water into the bottle and you can see that I didn't fill it up all the way. And I'm going to now put the cap back on and hopefully some of these don't always snap back on, but I think this will work, let's see. Yes, perfect, okay. So I was able to recycle my bottle and now the next step is preparing the fabric. I'm actually doing this a way that's not the traditional way of tie dyeing where you dunk your fabric into the color or, or uh, squirt it on. I'm actually gonna use it and spray it onto the fabric. That way I can have more control over it because I don't wanna get this soaking wet and then have to dry it. Um, I wanna do it sort of the way that's in my head and hopefully it'll work. I'm actually gonna back you up just a little bit and I'm gonna move the camera up. And you can see here that this is an off-white piece of fabric. So I'm gonna try to do a design where it looks like a starburst or it has rings coming out from the center. So what I wanna do is find the top of the bed sheet and this later on will have to be sewn to this one. And I have an insert, which is cotton, and that's gonna go inside. And then I'm gonna sew up the edge, or I might put buttons on it, or even Velcro. Now some of you guys might already know what a duvet is, because some of you might have one, but this is a great way to take bed sheets and turn it into something that would cost an awful lot of money in the store. So. I'm going to just stand up here with my chair and what I want to do is sort of find the center and there's no exactness in tie dyeing but there I think is the middle and I'm going to make a ghost and what I'm going to do is take my first pipe cleaner and I want to squish this up really well and give this a really good tight twist. Okay. 
I have the gloves on now, but I don't need them on now. I can take them off, but. All right, so here's my first one ready to go. Put that off to the side. And then this one, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna leave it folded up. And let me get out that piece of cardboard. And this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of roll this up into almost like a tube. See how I did that? And I think I only have three pipe cleaners left, so I'll divide them equally. So this is a slightly different design. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but in art, it's always important to explore. So we're gonna take this outside, and I have my spray with my fabric dye. And by the way, I used hot water. I think the hot water works better with the dye. And let's go give this a good spray outside and see how it looks. Okay, so boys and girls, I'm outside now and I have my stuff. And I took this outside. I could probably have done this in the bathtub, but I'd rather just do it in the woods and then I can always wash the bed sheets. So what I'm gonna do is, because I have it in the spray bottle, I think it's gonna be much easier to control. So I am going to just lay this down and I probably could put a sheet underneath this, but it's gonna go in the washing machine. And I'm gonna pan you down here so you can see. And I'm just gonna start spraying. And this doesn't need a lot. That's what's nice about using the spray bottle. Now look at that, within a second, it's already dyed. Okay, so at this point, I'm debating whether or not to open it or to leave it. But I am rather impatient, so, and I want you to see it. So I think I'm gonna open it up, and then what I can do is I can maybe hang it on the trees out here so it can dry. But once you use this fabric dye, you have to put it into the washing machine. And this is what they look like. That is the one that I did in the Starburst. And then this one over here is the one that was folded. You see that? So two different looks, and I'm really happy with how they turned out. I have to let them dry, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop them into the washing machine and the dryer, and then they will be ready for the next step which is making a duvet. Okay, so boys and girls, the fabric went through the washer and the dryer, and you can see what happened. It faded a lot, and some of the uh, color bled onto the white parts into the washing machine, but it still has a tie-dyed effect. It's just a lot lighter than I thought. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my sewing machine, and I think you can see it right here, and I'm basically gonna make a gigantic pillowcase. So I'm gonna sew three of the sides, and then I'm going to sew the left side and the right side of the fourth side, but leave an opening so I can put the cotton comforter inside. Okay, so boys and girls, the duvet is all finished and it is on Fiona's bed and I wanna show it to you so you can see how it looks. Now, one thing that happened was when it came out of the dryer, the lighter spots got stained with the purple fabric, but I actually like it better than if it was plain white. So the dye worked out great and the duvet is now on the bed and it is ready to be used. So, I so boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this project, this fun sew with Mr. Price. And now you can see how a duvet is made using flat sheets and some fabric dye. I'll talk to you soon, boys and girls. Have a great day. See ya.